Hi, welcome back to Echoes from the Quiet Corner, where myths meet machines and shadows might just teach us the truth. 2000 years ago, Plato warned us about shadows. A thousand years later, Prometheus stole fire from the gods. A century ago, Boris dreamed of a library so vast it contained every book that could ever be written and every story that could ever be told. Today, in the age of AI, we are living all these three myths at once and we are asking the same question they did 2000 years ago, 1000 years ago and even a century ago. What is real? Who owns what we create? And what do we lose when the copy becomes more powerful than the original? So now, picture this. Prisoners chained in a dark cave, staring at a wall. Behind them, firelight flickers, shadows dance. To the prisoners, those shadows are reality. They know nothing else. Plato used this story to explain human ignorance. Most of what we call knowledge is only a reflection of truth, he says. He was deeply suspicious of art and imitation. A painting of a bed isn't a bed, he said, and a bed isn't the perfect form of the bed when it's a painting. Each step is further removed from reality, a copy of a copy. Now, here is where it gets even more relevant. Plato also criticized the sophists, speakers who sounded wise but lacked real understanding. A recent a paper draws the stunning parallel. AI chatbots are the new sophists. They can mimic expertise, assemble persuasive argument, even charm us, but they do not know. They are, as Plato might say, clever shadows. Maybe these are the new generation sophists, right? Sound familiar? Fast forward to Greek myth. Prometheus defies the gods to steal fire and give it to humanity. Fire brought progress, as we all know, and danger. It warmed homes, but it also burned cities. AI is a modern fire. It paints, it wipes, it stings, it diagnoses, it designs. It offers us godlike creative powers at the click of a button. But here's the twist. This time, it isn't the gods being betrayed. It is artists. Their brushstrokes, melodies, and words are squaved into data sets. Their style reborn in machine mimicry. Prometheus' gift burns in reverse. The creators feel the punishment. And Plato's moral worry returns. Will this imitation cultivate us or corrupt us? I am sure all of you would have asked this question at least once with all the latest developments in the field of AI. Plato believed that imitation could even shape the soul. Today we face the same question. Does infinite mimicry elevate human creativity or hollow it out? Now, step into Boris' Library of Babel, a library containing every possible book, every truth, every lie, every masterpiece and every nonsense that you could ever come up with. Sound familiar? Is there any technology that you could think of that is equivalent to Library of Babel? Of course, it's generative AI. It's building its own Library of Babel. Type a prompt and the machine conjures and style any story in any way, any format that you want it to be created. Any song, an infinite remix of human culture. A recent viral tweet captured this eerily. AI has turned... Plato's forms upside down. Instead of striving upward to truth, we are drowning in infinite shadows. Everything is generated. Everything is possible. Yet, meaning slips through our fingers. In Boris Library, the challenge isn't finding something. It's finding something that matters. That is a challenge we face now, surrounded by infinite content, but starving for significance. Plato feared illusions that masquerade as wisdom. Prometheus warned of the dangers of unrestrained fire. Boris imagined infinity 
where meaning dissolves. Air collapses these myths into one. Shadows, so convincing that we might even mistake them for truth. Fire, so powerful that it could even remake culture overnight. Infinity, so vast that originality and authorship blur. And yet, look back through history. Every breakthrough felt like the end of something. The printing press threatened the oral tradition. Photography threatened painting. Recorded music threatened live performance. Every time humanity adapted, not by abandoning the new, but by redefining meaning. Plato's cave had an exit. Prometheus' fire could warm, not just burn. Even Boris's infinite library challenges us. Try to find the page that matters. The question isn't, can AI create? The question is, can we still tell the difference between shadow and light? We can protect artists, not by fearing AI, but by designing fair systems that credit and empower them. Think of it like this. We can use AI as a partner, not a plagiarist. We can choose not just to marvel at what AI produces, but to ask why it moves us and what distinctly human truth still burns behind it. Plato's prisoners mistook shadows for reality. Today, our shadows sing, paint and speak back to us. But meaning has never lived in the shadows. It lives in the human act of turning toward the light. The myths remind us we have faced illusions before. We have faced fire before. We have wandered infinite libraries before. And every time we have found our way back to what matters. That's all for today. Until next time, may your quiet corners be rich with echoes that know how to listen. Bye.